Uh, we're gonna get on the ship. Oops. That is not used. Stand by, shore party. That's you. Contamination in progress. I like how they just let aliens on the ship. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. The shiny here, thanks, man. Yeah. It's not my fault, dude. It's the character creator thing. That's. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Out there somewhere. My hair's shiny. I've used my head and shoulders Everyone shampoo. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. Intercom's open. If you got anything you want to say to the crew, now's the time. I need to be honest with them. Now we do things my way. Listen up, Normandy. This is your commander speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. And I refuse to let anything get in the way of that mission. Yeah, this is my ship, motherfucker. I'll shoot things if I want to. No one's gonna help us. Wants to ignore this. <laughs> That's no surprise. They've never helped us in the past. No reason they'd start now. But we don't need their help. We can do this on our own. Saren will be ready for knows us. We're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. We will stop Saren, no matter what the cost. Well said, Commander. The captain will be proud. He doesn't matter anymore. The captain's not here. I'm in charge now, Joker, and time's wasting. Get this bird in the air. Forget that guy. That guy never existed to you. Now I am God. Anyway, let's go find some crew to talk to. <laughs> no, Joker's his actual name, man. He's, um... Well, at least he's his alias. He's the, the the pilot. <laughs> we got a map. What do we got? Caden, we can go talk to Caden. <laughs> no, dude. No, that's his. Uh, at least his alias. Maybe his surname. You know. What's up, dog? Just looking for personal Just input. I don't know what that means. But... At. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. We'll talk another Damn. time, Lieutenant. Commander. That guy's fired. He just blew me off. Can they do that? I'm the boss. He can't do that to me. Let's take those. Doctor Chakwas. Hello. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? How well do you know the Lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission, but he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special. Don't care about his service record. He just to told us to get out, you know. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L two. Oh, he's a psycho, isn't he? Well, most biotics now use the L three implants. Lieutenant Alenka was wired with the old L two configuration. Sometimes there are complications. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, That's very helpful, sure. Pain. She it's reminds me of that actress that I don't know the name of. I know exactly who you mean, yes. I mean, we're taking this guy on missions, and he suffers from mental disabilities, insanity, and crippling physical pain. At the minute, he just gets migraines. But what's to say when he's on a mission, he's not suddenly going to go batshit crazy and start shooting people? Or just, just keel over in pain, you know? The I guy's a liability, Goodbye. and I don't want him on my ship. How do you sack people? Look at him stood over there in the corner. Got my eye on you, pal. That really clips me out as well. Like, you press the button, 
and it just kind of centers your character and your camera and you're not sure if the game's kind of crashed or if the uh, elevator's working or what. Everyone's just down in the cargo bay. This is, this is where the cool people hang out. Alliance work. Is this the dude who got all hey, the Commander. licenses? Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Yeah. What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Do I have an illegal arms dealer on my ship? Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. I've got a black market smuggler on my ship. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. That's me. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Uh, thankfully, we bought everyone I could Many find on the, the Citadel because I seem to remember to get, something about them. Well worth the cost if you can find them. Okay. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. That's very helpful, thanks. That is you, yeah. That's that actress that I can't remember the name of. There are too many licenses for me to tell you. Let's see what Show you me. got. You bet, Commander. Whoa! That's, uh... Spectre Master Gear. 320,000. I bet it's... Helen Mirren. She doesn't... What? That looks nothing like Helen there. She does not look like Helen Mirren, dude. But anyway, 320,000 credits and I have 7,000. We better get saving, you know. Better put my pennies away in the bank. What else she got? Everything's so expensive. What's the best sniper rifle we can buy? Common, limited. So what? what's... I mean, why are these limited? She does if you put your glasses on. Oh, yes. There she is, yeah, Helen Miriam, yeah, that, that's right, yeah. Was that... <laughs> glasses or Zorro mask? Clip it. <laughs> I'll clip it later. What's... I don't know the difference. These two are limited, but these are the same rifle. One's limited. The Avenger is a common sniper rifle made by... Anakid R. Primarily used by police and planetary mili militia groups. The versatile and reliable weapon is an effort. Sniper rifle only has average accuracy. Who wants an averagely accurate sniper rifle? And for some reason this one has a scroll bar but no extra text, but it is limited. It's the same price. I don't know the difference between regular and limited. What I do need to do though is take a look at some of the crap we got. Like, I don't want that, we're gonna omni-gel it. Convert all junk. We're gonna omni-gel the pistol. I'm using a Reaper too. I don't think anyone else is really... Maybe Garrus could use a sniper rifle, I suppose. We're going to Omni-Gel the Reaper 1, anyway. Omni-Tool. Omni-Gel it. <laughs> me. Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with the Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. You knew? Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. No, that's Being true, man. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. 
If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. This guy wants to go like, uh... Who's Stallone's character in Demolition Man? Anyway, John Spartan, he wants to go John Spartan. Just like, blow shit up to get the criminal, you know? Takes down a school bus full of kids. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. c sex handling of Saren was typical. Dude's gonna be swearing into my, uh, my ticket meter to get toilet paper because he doesn't know how to use my three seashells. Ah, forget about it! Thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. It doesn't seem certain, does it? I plan to make the most of this. And without I always like Garrus, though. I think we're going to use Garrus and Rex. Maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. Yeah, sounds good to me, man. You shoot what you want. On this ship, we shoot first and ask questions later. Equip tally. Oh, we can equip them here. Cool. What's he using? An Avenger 1. See, the Reaper is better. This is only average and accurate. What is... Who uses average sniper rifles, man? Just equip it. I'm also not sure if it's better to Omni-Gel shit or to convert it to junk and sell it. I suppose we'll Omni-Gel the, the stuff that's not really worth much. Um... Not J. Let's go. Have we got a codex? Hmm. Commander. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Dismissed, Chief. What is wrong? with the humans on this ship. Garrus will talk to me, but so far all the humans have been very dismissive. Oh, except for the Doctor. M uh, Helen Mirren, the Doctor. What can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Okay. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Oh, come on! You've Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. They live for centuries. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. Yeah. They tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people... Yeah, didn't they sterilize them? ...mutation. An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth. And I suppose it's destroying your... Oh, that's way species. worse than sterilizing them, yeah. <laughs> yeah, alright. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Don't you subject? I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan... I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. Damn, man. What can you tell me about the genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands die in stillbirth. And most never get that far. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one's rushing to find a cure. Yeah. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? 
When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? You ask a Krogan, would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. Well, I hope you all had a good Christmas and a Happy New Year and all that, because damn, the stream's heavy already. <laughs> So long, Rex. So far on the ship, we've got a dude with mental, like mental disabilities, who could go rogue and start shooting people, or just kill over at any point. One guy who's never heard of good cop, bad cop, and just wants to play bad cop, bad cop. And that guy whose entire species is dying out, and his attitude is, shit happens. Damn. Where's the, uh, captain's office? Caden to deck one to deck three. Okay. We are missing one. Where's the ta tally? She's got to be around here somewhere. Can we go back there? It's in there. Palm room? No, she's not in there. Where's this woman? I got experience for no reason. I didn't. Where's she at? Airlock? No. Galaxy map. I mean, no, that just zooms in. You can't go to a different floor. I don't know where this one is. She's interested in... She wasn't in the engineering bay, but she was interested in, like, technology and things that could help her race, her species, so... Caden, Captain... She ain't gonna be in the Captain's office, surely. I would've thought she'd show up on the map. What's down there? Sleeping pods? She's not at the table. I've lost a crew member. Did she come back with us? She did. We, she's got a locker. It will let, her, it will let us um, outfit her. Engineering? Is that her? She's in engineering. She's going to be taking apart my engine core or something. Element Zero Core, she is taking apart the core. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive core like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. I'm starting to understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Normally than not. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a Quarian. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Damn, man. Huh? I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Most it's just like the trains in England. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. She's gonna steal my engine. Um, let's find out about Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. 
Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. I still feel like the uh, FPS in scenes like this is being throttled, because I'm on like 210 FPS at the minute. But there's no way this is 210 FPS. What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their so it's China. point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. That's your government? The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Hmm. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials. In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. It's Damn. a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. See, these guys built the, the Geth as well. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. Interesting. The Geth were originally created to serve as an automated manual labor force. Initially, their intelligence was as limited as any VI. Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the Council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. The changes were so insignificant, so gradual, that we were able to control them. Or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. They're a hive mind. So the Geth share brain power? Many of the Geth's logic systems were designed to work in concert with other nearby Geth. Basically, the more of them you have in the group, the smarter they are. So there's some sort of group consciousness? No, nothing like that. They cannot share sensory data or information. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. Why did they turn on you? made them rebel? As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. One day, a Geth began to ask its Quarian overseer questions about the nature of its existence. Am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? 
As you can imagine, this caused a near panic among my people. What did you do? It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us, so we acted first. A general order went out across all Quarian-controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order violently. They, yeah, well, you would, I suppose, wouldn't you? You know, everyone's like, oh, we've got to kill those guys. Yeah, what did you expect? You didn't really think they'd just let you destroy them without a fight, did you? The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the Veil. Now, we drift through space, exile, searching for a way to reclaim what was once ours. I mean, it's hard to feel sorry for you. Your ancestors tried to wipe out another species. We made a mistake when we created the Geth in the first place. But we did not make a mistake when we went to war against them. If we had not acted, they would have wiped us out. They're a synthetic life form. They have no use for organics. None. Why do you think they cut themselves off from the rest of the galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being who's ever tried to contact them? They didn't kill Saren. What does that tell you? The Geth are not innocent victims in all this. They're the enemy. They want to destroy us. Not just the Quarians. All organic life. Mm. That's why they've joined up with Saren. And that's why we have to stop him. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, we know about the pilgrimage. I should go. Ish. See you later. Most of them. Um, Hey, Commander, you know that Quarian, Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our is, engines. Is that a good thing? She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You got an eye for Tally, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Stealth Tell me system. In on the IES stealth systems. How does it we work? We got a stealth exactly? system. You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scan can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see as plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. Most vessels rely on scanners. As long as the stealth systems are engaged, they can't see us. Not unless we accelerate to FTL speeds. Why doesn't it work with fast Do we have to vent? Travel? Cranking up the FTL blue shifts our emissions, pushes them into frequencies too high to capture in the sinks. As soon as we make the jump, it's like setting off a flare. Sensors can pick up our location whenever we enter or exit FTL flight, but for short-range missions, our stealth systems are amazing, and we've got the only one. Cool. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, Commander. There's a lot of dialogue, a lot of talking in these games, or in this game. I've never played the second or third, but most of it's really interesting. The world building of old Bioware. Um, same with Dragon Age. Dragon Age Origins, the world building, the character building. There's not really much like it. There aren't really many other games. Knights of the Old Republic, another one. The story, the character building, the world building. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the at the map. A lot of games nowadays don't give you such in-depth and heavy dialogue and, and background and... Just thousands upon thousands upon thousands of lines and stories about each individual and each species and... It really lets you get immersed. 
Um, supposedly constructed by the long extinct Protheans, this colossal deep space station serves as the capital of the Citadel Council. Thirteen point two million population, not including keepers. How many keepers do you think there are on the entire thing? It weighs seven point eleven billion metric tons. Jesus. Okay. So we go to the sit whoa, this is like back to front. Uh how do we get Oh, escape is back. So widow is the citadel. This is the serpent nebula. Okay. The Milky Way. So Ferros and Noveri are right there. Oh, we have to fly through places too. So we can only really go to one of these two first. Can we... Oh, and that's it. Okay. So we can't go any further back than the Milky Way at the minute. But each one of these... Does each one have its own... Cool. Kepler Verge? Whoa. Message coming in from the brass at Arcturus. Oop. Patching it through. Tag like something, okay. I should Admiral Hackett here. We're getting reports of a marked increase in geth activity in the Skillian Verge. Surveillance drones have identified Geth outposts on four different planets in the Armstrong Cluster. We need someone to take them out. Any more info? Do you have any idea what they're after? Hard to say. They may be just gathering intel on us. Or maybe they're setting up staging grounds for hit-and-run attacks on human colonies. Yeah, it was. could be the first wave of an invasion. Let's hope not. We need someone to investigate this. The one thing I'm not overly keen on. Saren is still your top priority. But you've got experience fighting the Geth. You're the logical choice to take out these outposts. We're transmitting all the locations of known Geth outposts in the Armstrong Cluster to the Normandy now. Admiral Hackett out. Honk. Yeah, the one thing I'm not overly keen on is um, when you select a dialogue option, it'll tell you what what that option is, you know, like there or worse. But that's not what he says. He says something similar but different enough that it's a little bit like sometimes you don't know what you're going to end up asking because it doesn't tell you exactly what you're going to end up asking and I, I'm not a big fan but it's a minor gripe and that's not new in this edition as, as far as I remember that was the same in, in the original so we've got four to take out in there we're not going to do that just yet that's a long way away so uh, the Voyager Plus. Go to Amazon. Ming. Some of these nebulas look really cool. So, I mean, we'll start with one of these. So what do we got? The Exodus Cluster. Asteroid X-57. And Utopia. Can we just check out... I don't really want to go somewhere unless we've got something to do there. So let's just check our journal real quick. We've got some missions. Uh, Artemis Tau Cluster would be fine to Sony, which is the Matriarch's daughter. Novaria and Ferros. Ferros is far away, so it won't be that. Maybe we'll start with Novaria, because that's like, we can go there straight away. Uh, the Armstrong Cluster is pretty far away. The Hades Gamma Cluster. Did we even find that? We'll, ta we'll take a look where that is. The Strenus system? Citadel. Sentry system in the... Hydra system of the Argus Row cluster. So there's nothing on those asteroids, so I don't really know why we'd go there. Maybe we'll check it out at some later point. But at the minute, I don't really see the point in going to uh, to this asteroid. There doesn't seem to be a lot there. So the Argos Row, the Hydra, we could check that out. But we've got to go through Novaria first anyway. So let's just do Novaria. Axe. 
or Strenus? Strenus was mentioned. Travel to another city. Yeah. Okay. So this is one of the main missions. We'll start with this. But, uh, so that's where we are. Which planet do we want? Did it tell us which planet we want? We're at Stratos. Oh, we can survey it. Okay. 